Let me note that most of the reviews are for the pearl white model, but I bought the black model. It's slightly different in that it has 5 settings versus 3 and there's no charger cradle for it. However, it appears everything else is the same. It even can use the pearl white replacement heads, which I wasn't sure of since the replacement heads state that it's only for the pearl white model. In point of fact I couldn't find the black model replacement heads on Amazon, which is why I explored this option. If you haven't used an electric toothbrush before, I think it's worth mentioning that the rapid vibrations of the brush head will make the things it comes in contact with tangle, like a small ticklish feeling. Aside from that, the brush worked great the first time I used it, my teeth feeling the freshest they ever have. The brush automatically pauses for one second after every 30 second increment and then auto turns off after 2 minutes. I guess the idea is that 30 seconds should be spent per quadrant of your mouth for a 2 minute total brush time, which is a very clever built in feature. Other things that encouraged me to buy this brush is that it is purported by the manual and other reviewers that the single charge lasts one plus month. Also, the brush is waterproof too which means I can use it in the shower. Another thing, there's a brush cover that comes with it, good for a travel bag or the germaphobe. And let me say you cannot beat the price. I got this brush in order to fix my hard brushing habit, which I've developed after countless bad dental visits. This habit as I've been told by every hygienist I talk to, is causing my gums to recede. After one use, I already think that this will solve that issue, because all I have to do is rest the brush on an area of my teeth and move it around to other areas as needed. The vibrations do all the work which means I don't need to apply any pressure at all. In summary, I bought this brush to solve a hard brushing habit that's gone on too long. It's the single biggest improvement that I can do for my dental health at this point, and already I'm glad I took the first step. I was looking for a ball to use as an office chair. It couldn't be a crazy color because it would be in an office setting and the shiny rubbery ones looked like something kids would play with. This ball looked great because it was a neutral gray, didn't have any crazy markings except Dynapro on the side, and had more of a matte finish. I was nervous about the reviews questioning the size of their exercise ball, but I decided to get one anyway. I'm 5 feet 5 inches and most exercise science told me to get a 55 centimeters ball. When using one as an office chair, you're supposed to go up one size so I purchased the 65 centimeters version. My desk is average height and 65 centimeters would go at least 4 inches above my current chair which other sites have recommended. It came in two days early, a very nice surprise. The ball looks just like the picture and it's made of a thick, sturdy material. The pump was a little odd at first since I thought it was sucking air out of the ball instead of pumping it in. Just put the nozzle and ball and pump as normal. The device will sound weird, but it's working just fine. The first time I inflated the ball. I was disappointed with the size. I was a foot lower than I thought I should be. I gave it another chance and started pumping more. Even if I didn't think it made a difference, I kept putting air in. This definitely helped. It was nowhere near full. After a few more tries, it was almost to the height I wanted. I debated returning it, but the card inside the packaging said to give it 24 hours for the material to fully expand. The ball even had dark stretch marks on it where material hadn't fully stretched out yet. This morning I came into work and started pumping in more air. I noticed that once the ball is inflated fully, the pump no longer lets out air as many people complain. Once you push it in, some sort of air lock happens and it doesn't change until you start pulling back the pump again. Now it's the perfect height. It's very tight, but after a few minutes of sitting on it, I stopped worrying about breaking it. Hope this review helps clear up some of the questions people have. I was wondering all of this when I first got it. I've had my Chillux single serve coffee maker brewer for K cups for a year and a few months. Over that time, I've regularly made about 6 cups of perfect coffee with very few issues. I was a former owner of at least 6 Keurig brand coffee makers that worked, but failed after about 8 months. Yes. All of them lasted only about 8 months. Tried everything on YouTube to get them to work again. 
but nothing. So, I got fed up with their poor quality and decided to try the Chillux. This little thing is built like a tank. It just keeps going. Coming from the big bulky Karuigs to this small thing was a bit of a surprise. But I now love its smaller size and footprint. The Karig tank and water handling system design is flawed. The whole system constantly holds water in the internal tubes. I found this is a breeding ground for mold. After taking a few of mine apart trying to diagnose issues that you cannot see without disassembly and cannot get rid of. Flushing with vinegar or their brand of cleaner only kills the mold. This leaves dead slime from the mold that gets hung up in the system. The Karig water pumps are definitely inferior, longevity wise, to the Chillux. They just will not hold up to 6 cups a day for more than about 8 months. As to those that have had the water overflow problem, the issue, Chilluxes, is there is a small particle strainer at the bottom of the throat where you pour the water in and it passes through the strainer into the tank. The holes are just too small and too few. Unless you slowly pour the water into the tank, you will occasionally get a backflow. I feel this is a design flow on their part. What I have done is to remove this strainer, easily done with one finger, and use it without it. I've not had any issues with the tank getting foreign matter accumulated or in the machine's operation. As to those with the grounds coming loose from the pods and getting into the coffee or on the machine itself for countertop, I've not had this issue. It could be the pods themselves have a defect or poorly made. It could be how you are putting the lid down on the pad and latching it shut. The motion should be swift once you start to the closure process. I make one swift movement and latch it immediately. As for the heat up time of the water, when I first received my Chillux, my last old Kerrig was still working. So, I timed how long each took from start brewing button push until coffee started flowing. The Chillux was maybe 5 seconds slower than the Keurig. The improvements I would like to see would be a faster brew time, I would pay more for this feature or such a model, and bigger holes in the water strainer. I'd like to revise my previous review and just say what a great company Aradisa has shown itself to be. Yesterday at about 3.30 p.m., the mailman appeared at my door W and Amazon box. At that point, I knew that I hadn't purchased any products this week. I opened the box to discover that this wonderful company called Aradisa read my previous review, and I dislike posting anything negative mind you, and decided to take their own initiative and send me a complimentary premium acrylic paint set. I am more than impressed with their candor and superb customer experience. I couldn't return my original silver paint packet, due to the return policy, and this company, without even reaching out to me, sends this like Santa Claus. Their set provides a wealth of usable colors and has a nice thick quality with plenty of pigmentation for those colors to pop on your canvas. I wash there were more companies like this who really deliver from the heart. This made my weekend. Thanks Artiza. You are my new go-to for my acrylics. Original review. No longer valid. I opened this paint up and it was like paste. Dried up gummy paste. Keep in mind I enjoy painting thick. But wow, save your dollar and purchase a higher quality brand. I dislike writing negative views in general. But this is not usable and my return window disappeared because I decided to use this a couple months in. Slightly conflicted about this vacuum and could not quite give it 5 stars. When looking for a new vacuum almost everyone I know recommended this product. On the plus side, it is a great vacuum. The suction is very strong and I like that you can see how much dirt it's picking up because of the clear plastic receptacle. It's actually kind of distressing how much dirt and fur is on everything when I see how full the receptacle is after one vacuuming. But it does confirm that the vacuum is doing the job, and gives me a sense of accomplishment. That dispenser is super easy to remove, empty and replace. The attachments are good quality and snap into place easily. So, as for the conflicted positive, negatives with this product, it is work vacuuming with this unit. It's on the heavy side, and takes a bit of muscle to steer it all around. That said, I can carry it upstairs in one hand with the convenient handle, so this is all relative. The cord is very long, which is mostly an excellent thing, 
but I do sometimes find myself tripping over it and getting it tangled around the vacuum or myself. Not the point where it would be a comedy routine, but enough to be a little annoying. The cord is not self-retracting, this is fine with me, but might be important to someone. Probably my biggest complaint with it is the hose for the attachments. It's an accordion style hose which is supposed to extend out X number of feet. Six maybe. The hose constantly wants to retract to its shortest length and does not stay extended easily. This causes the vacuum to constantly be pulled closer to where you are vacuuming with the attachment. I feel like I'm constantly fighting with it and pushing it away when using the attachments. Also neither the vacuum itself of the attachments are made to easily get under a bed or anything else that is pretty low to the floor. The shape of the attachment is not angled so that it can touch the floor if it's not being held upright or near upright. Also the suction is so strong that you can't vacuum smaller mats or area rugs. They get sucked right into it. The attachment however can be used on these. But I don't feel it does as good of a job as the vacuum itself would do.